Maintain eye contact. Well, no, he keeps moving his head, so that doesn't work. Hey there, everyone. This is Al Cow playing Banjo Kazooie. We're gonna interact with Dingpot here, and we are gonna go and fight the last boss. Grunty has been waiting for us, hiding on top of his tower. I remember this chugging on hardware, so we'll see how this goes on Mupin. <laughs> like, there are parts in the original game where on hardware, like, the game struggles enough that, like, a hit might get him. But let's see what happens here, my big red, red health, um, right up here. It's so unfair. But now the stupid bear must fight accurate. This battle test your skill and mine. No, yeah, if the quiz was an actual literal, like, game in review, this is a more traditional. Okay, so that's not what we need to do. No, that's right, that is not what you're supposed to do. Okay, yeah, you wait for her to, yeah. Yeah, 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 you wait for her thing to sputter, and then she throws lasagnas, that's right. Alright, alright, alright. So we walk and then she sputters on the... Uh, it's like, yeah, hands on her hips. Okay, there we go, meteorite, here we go. The music here is fantastic, by the way, you know, just to be different. <laughs> Tackle! Alright, it's gonna be... Third dash. Yeah, that's what I thought. It'd be the only one. Uh, uh, eh. Alright. Whoa, whoa. Alright. Still doing this. Still haven't moved on from our strategies here. Everything is working fine. Okay. Fourth dash. Here we go. Whoa, that hurts, really? Ridiculous. Alright. New phase. You can tell because a honeycomb fell out of her pockets. She keeps on here in her pockets, so that's what she does. So I'm pretty sure you have to do that for that beam. Anyways, now she's hanging out there, so... Oh boy, yeah, I walked right into that, huh? Oh boy, yeah, okay, so I managed to not get hit while hitting her, and that's good. Yeah, so, like, there's... Whoa! There's, like, pickups all over the ground for a reason. Oh shoot, now I'm the one who got her. Yeah, it's, she's like an extreme version of the snowman. Alright, okay. I'm gonna do that some more. Alright, so, like, yeah, like, I feel like you're supposed to be dancing around more to not just, like, you have to hop on accumulations, right? Yeah, no, you don't! Oh! That makes this a little bit easier. I was sure you had to get up on those. Well, there, it clearly went under, so. Me, uh, shoot, I was trying to jump, but I had to stop ducking. This is, like, to me, this is, like, nearly impossible to aim anything. Uh, uh. Okay, one of them managed to get somewhere. Like, yeah, like, I'd be almost dying if it weren't for the red health I unlocked. Okay, so you just do that. See, like, she goes for where you will be. Like, she's very smart. There you go. Uh, Alright, okay, yeah. That was the sounds one I hear her make. Okay, but she's still standing there. Whoops, that is not what I meant to do. Ah! Okay, well, she didn't hit me, so that's good. Oh, there she did, though. That's a dangerous egg to get. Yeah, like, I'm almost out of normal health already. This is... This is not playing to my strength. Uh, okay, I missed. It's gonna happen. Yeah, like, okay. So now... Now's my time. You have to be a little bit smart. There you go. Alright, uh-huh. Ow! So yeah, let her throw four. Look at that, I just kinda move a little bit so that... Oh, you're gonna be there! Yeah, throw four. No, three? Okay. There it's four! Okay, yeah, you wanna hear her shout? I'm ducking. Alright. Okay, so what's going on here? I don't know. Bottles. Why did you make this appear? That's weird. Yeah, I was waiting for that. Alright, well, like I said, game in review. Let's take flight. Taking that fight to the air. That's right, hit you on the broom. Whoa, how did I dodge that? Like, I feel like I didn't really dodge that. Oh boy. Like, I feel like I'm not really dodging anything. Also, she's huge. 
I, I, I knew she was pretty big, but, like, just, oh, what, all right, well, that, that's unfortunate, all right, big turn, this arena's pretty big, too, all right, I need to be, like, lined up, like, you gotta line yourself up and aim for a moving target, which is not obvious, is that the first time we do that in this game, aiming for something that's moving with a beach barge, bash, flight, zone, I don't know, Alright, heading just straight for ya. Oh, there you stop, too. Alright, I guess you're- Whoa! Okay. All on purpose. It's so on purpose. Okay, she stops sometimes to aim her meteorize. Yeah, I flew into that. I'm aware. Alright, there you are. Gumbo. What?! Okay, well, uh, she took priority there, I guess. No, I knew I missed. I might just die, honestly, on this first attempt. And you know what? If it happens, it happens. Like... No! Mm. I find this super hard. This has always been my weakness. And, uh, this is still true. Like, yeah, she stops occasionally, but... Alright. Listen for the ding. Alright, no ding, so no... Honey has landed on the ground, which means the fight is not over yet. Yeah, you're you're doing it. Is that enough? Nope. That was not. I mean, clearly I went underneath, but I don't know. It could have been some nice. God damn it! Hitbox niceness. So now you might now realize the value of the power-up refill that you can unlock with uh, note doors. Uh, it's because, you know, if you die to this fight, you don't just get all your resources back. <laughs> so, it's a real help to have those waiting for you. Man, this is still going, huh? Oh, look. oh no it's not! You just bail, I can hide money. You use a shield. Uh, what am I supposed to do to that? Are you random? Like, what is happening? Yeah, so that's what I thought was gonna happen. Okay, oh, alright. There's just a moment of awkwardness. The Jinjos are coming back. Uh, is it possible to get here without freeing any Jinjos? I don't think so? I don't know, actually. Oh, man, really? Like I said, I might just die. Dude. Uh, is that enough? No, you need to like put a bunch in. There you go, Jinjo! Yeah, tired. Oh, I so love how they use the animation of the Jinjo. Except offensively. It's so good. Oh, god damn it, I'm so bad at this. No, wrong button. Jump! Okay, green ginger's coming out. Good. Yeah, yeah. Nope, yeah. nope, no, 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 no. Okay. Is that enough? No, it's not. Alright, no, there go! go. Ouch! You couldn't, you couldn't unduck. Alright, here's the last guy I need. Oh, jeez. Go, 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 go! Ah! Nope, nope. Like, how do you aim this? I don't know, like that. Oh, jeez. Like, it's not like I have time to change my aiming. Alright. It's, it's all... Oh, the tiny Jinjo statues. Yeah. Still going... Oh, jeez. Alright, destroyed! We destroyed our broomstick. Okay, that's good. Uh, you land on your butt, technically, then you bounce back up. Alright, where you at? No! So I'm waiting for another thing to get summoned. No! Jeez. And you still do that, which I'm pretty sure you have to get invincible for. Yeah, so! The mighty Genjonator erupts from the earth. Uh, don't worry about it. <laughs> Alright, okay. No, no, no. Get in that whole egg. No. I 
threw how many eggs there? No! You, I, I press the button, I swear! Oh my god, I will die. I'm gonna die. I am going to die. Because I'm just so bad at aiming the eggs. No, that wasn't- no, I, my timing was bad. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, that's fine. So yeah, like I said, this is why you want to have these unlocked. It's so you can just, you know, refill. No, really? Well, that's pretty rad. Sounds great. Where even are you? No! Mm. Wow, there's are still new texts that I'm fast forwarding through. That's what you want to see. Ah. Did you think I was gonna walk off the wall? Because I believe you. Yeah, leave that health there until I need it. No! How did that happen? I wasn't ducking somehow. I didn't press duck fast enough. Good enough. So we're at this stage, I'm still full. Alright, this is going okay. Compared to my previous attempts. Alright, flight. Health on the ground. Not immediately smashing into her is a good start. I need to get better at aiming for you here. There I correctly anticipated, which is good. I just lose track of where you are. Like, I don't know, like, I find that this here... Aiming a, a, a bomb attack like that on a moving target... I don't think this is something you ever do in this game. And it's pretty hard. I missed my... Like, your timing needs to be so good. And your aim, like, everything needs to be top-notch. Unless you're... Like that. Well, I mean, even then... It needs to be pretty alright. I didn't do it, I didn't push the trigger. 
Alright, so now it's just kind of awkward. Yep. And so we fly atop your tower. Hopefully I'll win by the hour. Uh -oh. Ah, man. Whoa, that counted. Okay. Oh, I heard a ding, ding, ding. Did I hear the ding, ding, ding? Yes, I did. Okay. I want to land as soon as I can before the invincibility homing attack comes out. Here we go. Or maybe one doesn't come at this state because, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do much about it. That's smart. Jinjo! Got three eggs in. Move on to the next one. And then you kind of want to use the chaos of the other one being tossed about. You miss entirely. That's my strat. Alright, just so many eggs. So many eggs! Okay, alright. Sweet. Just gonna stay here. Some of these went in, alright. You know what? Some is all we need. That game struggling with all the particles and flung about. Oh, I got hurt there like a dumb. But if any more of a Oh shoot, I just walked into that though. Like that was avoidable. Alright. But you've all been genjoed up. Alright, alright, last phase. This is by far the best one I had yet. Where you at? Alright, there you are. Kind of I can see you if I can help it. Yeah, like you're just mad, uh, and then I'm here, and I'm bad back. Ba -ba -da. I'm waiting for it yet. The mighty Jinjonator. <laughs> I just love how out of nowhere this is. I forget how many you gotta get in. No, 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 no. Okay, so it's, like, how many was that? Six? Nine? Not sure. Alright, so get here. Do that. Re, re, no, 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 no. Six. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, so one of these, you gotta be in between the statue and Gruntilda, and that one's gonna be fun. Maybe I just tank it, just tank it, just like go in there and egg in there and somehow missing. That's the, that's the, alright, there we go, perfect, alright, uh-huh. Whoop, ba -da -ba -da. alright, so here we go, put your head in the hole, Kazooie, there we go. So just outspeed her, get right close to it, oh that's right, in the hat, the spirit of the, Oh, I was talking all over its super deep voice, I'm sorry! Oh yeah, Grunty's not a fan of that. So, if you played Super Smash Brothers and wonder what the heck was up with Banjo Super Smash, here you are. Here we are. Ah, uh, that's right, just absolute brute force against her mighty magical spells. We're just ramming. We are just getting in there. Just absolute brutality. <laughs> That's so good! <laughs> oh no, one more spell! I can't control my- Also, Banjo took time to go on top of the pedestal while that was happening. Oh, it's so good. It's as good as I remember. Which honestly, I feel, is a summary of my playthrough of this game. Banjo-Kazooie is as good as I remember it. Oh! Oh, you made a big car- Oh, no! Man, that's kind of brutal, honestly. And then poison vapors, like, in the air? That's weird. I mean, that's why she was a witch. She was full of poison. That's just biology. Should not be so hurry, Klungo, rescue me! Can Klungo even hear you? Like, you are, like, embedded in the earth. Anyways, that's what we call a victory! Look at that! The Jinjos are here! 
we've got ourselves, we're at Treasure Trove Cove, I guess. We're at least an alloc to that end. A melon just fell from the tree. Then for some reason, oh look at that. It's a coconut, by the way, not a melon. That's, you know, he's very happy. He bought himself some sea dudes with, uh, gonna fight Johnny here on the open seas with the gold ingots we got. Um, yeah, no, just imaged exposition here by Rare Incorporated. See, are we finished the game now, he asks. Yeah, not only the US cube, but then we went after blood. <laughs> Who's short? Oh yeah, him. That would make sense. He's a mole, he's giant. Ordo bears are small, I can't tell. There's like no sense of space. Anyways, everyone's here at a beach because we beat the game. Here we go, let's have the credits again. Except this time with other characters, like Dingpot. Oh yeah, except there's no credit. It's just like, all right, here's the rest of the people. The people were not as important, like poor old Klungo. Yeah, everyone likes Topper. Scan bouncing there. Who can't forget Ball? He's out for a brawl. But how about everyone's favorite Codwobble? You know, that plant who does not have a name in English. That was pretty weird. Query has its own name. It's a rock with eyes glued on it. They blink. The Gruntling, see, because they're grunts for Gruntilda. Ling. And here's Ticker. Did I not have to answer Ticker for the quiz? But it was the termite. You had the animal. Big butt. That's his name! I feel like he has a much more obvious body part you could have named it after though. It's a goblin. It's a problem. That little Kazooie tucked the feathers on their head. Here's Lee. Yeah, again. Do you know Lee? Maybe Leaky presents himself. Look at his, his paint job though. He is psychedelic. He's ready to go out there and bounce slightly up and down. Lock up. That's his name. There's a chest. There's a few of them. Whoa, it's Little Lockup! No one has the ability to move and plead for mercy. <laughs> Something most being though. Oh, yum yum, zout for gum. Whatever that means. You know, likes to chew. It's a little crab. You can see its tongue. Unless it's its mouth. I don't know. And here's a mine. Shrapnel. That's a pretty good name for an enemy mine. Like, the fade out makes this take way much longer than any- Like, I get it, this is the evolution of, like, the enemy roundup in Donkey Kong Country, right? Except in DKC1, I felt like it was really speedy, because they were walking around. The fade in and out here. Like, I love this, I love seeing all the guys again, and their, like, names and whatnot, but it, I, I feel like the pacing could be helped a little bit. It's Muty Snippet, unlike the regular Snippet, it has one giant claw and one tiny one. Whiplash, this has a name even though it's a Norgan of some kind. I guess it's not really a Norgan, but like a... It's a part of anatomy though, I don't know how to call it. Is it like a giant cell maybe? I don't know. It's the Flibbit, it blinks with its eyes differently at some... Some frog zoo that I'm pretty sure, like it's a safety concern. So your eyes are never fully closed, so you know what Predator is about. Tip Top Choir finally gets their due as they stand there. You did it, Tip Top Choir! They all got individual names! Imagine me naming your kid Groggy. That's... But then you also name your other kid Soggy? That's just mean. Like, really? You, you'll do something like that? Moggy? Like, that's fine. Soggy's the kid Boggy really doesn't care for, and that's just too bad. Hey, it's the Twinklies! Singular! One Twinkly at least will die. It's a Twinkly Muncher. They exist only to eat a very specific meat, which is something that happens in nature. So, man, that hat is giant, I just realized. But it is quite big. It would not fit on a head that size. Whoa, Chinker! That vaguely sounds like it could be inappropriate. It's just on the edge. Hey, it's Jinxie! He's gonna sneeze! He sneezed! He did the thing. Check it out. It's the ancient ones. They can't move 
but they bury in the sand. Oh man, grab us, grabbing at a puzzle, what you gonna do about it? But there's a bug, it's scabby, he's full of scabs. Wow, gross. Poor thing. Ah, uh, is the other hand slap him. I didn't, uh, I didn't look if Bravo was like the other hand. So we have both, both mummy hands. Mum mum, they, they, look, they tried very hard to name mum mum. All right, look at this guy, his stuff. Does that mean something? I don't know, I feel like a lot of British name characters sometimes, they have names like it might be a pun, but it's not. It's like close to one, and you're not sure, and then that guy just rips a painting, but then the painting redoes itself. Like, this is a pretty good construction. Blah, 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 yeah, tee -hee. yeah, I guess they're a Pokemon and just say their name all day long. It's a skeleton. You can hear Lotto right beside. Limbo and Lotto are in the same room, shot at the same time, but the footage using different things. Ripper, because it says rip on his face. I get it. On his surface? Of its face. Oh, we don't really get ever a clear view of this bat enemy. It looks pretty good. Like, it's really well modeled for how small he is and how not like a lot you will see him. Wow, I cannot speak suddenly. Speaking about bats, making me just all flustered, it looks like. Yeah, check out it's me, Grimlet. Alright, that's me, Grimlet. <laughs> good job, Grimlet. Hey, float Sams. That's a joke, because that's a thing. That guy. That was something I just said. Sea man grublin. If you feed him enough pastry, he becomes a fish. Like Chump. That's how it works. Chump's a pretty good name. Ah, snare bear. Yeah, it's chomping around. That is not very efficient. You're never gonna catch anything like that. Well, it's a bird, it's a good blocker. You're just phasing through the wall there, but it's okay. We don't we don't mention that. It's the Zubbas. Everyone watched the Zubbas back in the nineties. See, it's Robin. He doesn't have a hoodie though. He has a hat. That's just Whiplash, except no, it's Whip Crack. They are identical in every way, except for the environment they're in. Hey, it's our old pal. Cheeto with the spells book. It's the spells on the cover. That's the last NPC. We return here to this footage. Kind of awkwardly, you can tell why the coconuts are falling. There's a guy in the tree. Did you see on a previous scene? So, fun fact, if you did not get all the everything, or at the very least all the jiggies, he would tease you about having pictures of things you missed and sequence you in the next game. But I got all the jiggies, so we're, we're gonna miss out on the tease, sadly. I'm sure the, that scene was uploaded on YouTube somewhere. You can look that up if you want to see it. But, yeah, it's easy to get all 100 jigs out. Oh, we're not called jiggies yet. I've been calling them jiggies all game long. Now I'm feeling... I'm feeling weird about it. <laughs> Alright, but show us a secret. Right, uh, bottle, not interested. He is invested in that watermelon. So yeah, revealing the name Banjo-Tooie. Like, I always didn't like that name. It's so weird, because... They kind of removed Kazooie from the title, and Kazooie is the one who did, like, a lot of the work in completing this game. I get the pun, but it deval- yeah, see, Banjo-Kazooie, Tooie! At least Kazooie stays in the title. Also, wow. <laughs> Alright, so, and yeah. So here's this, your kid, you just play this game, you know, you beat this game, you know this game. Wait, isn't that Shark Bake Island? That strange little island that just had a shark food sign on it? And yeah, it's like, what? It can rise up? There's a tunnel in it? At least like shenanigans? Like platforming a level, but I mean, play as you will. You hop around, you bop around. Try and hit weird things, like what seems like a switch and nuts storage. Uh, 
But no matter what you do, this is not gonna happen. Like, like Mumbo says here, this is for the sequel, apparently. So does that mean the sequel we're gonna be replaying through Banjo-Kazooie? I don't know why they have to show all that, and also why there needs to be so many sea jumps there, but... Details... Uh, and yeah, that's just there. Like, isn't that wild? Uh, how about here? Remember in Waza's cave how there was, you know, there was like this like glass cave inside the cave and there was nothing to see behind it? Where Jinjo lives. Yeah. This is Waza hangs out here. See, there's a Jinjo. Also, Kazooie going back to the important part. No, yes, you know, there's nothing to see. It's giant ice key that's floating that we clearly could see before, perhaps, maybe? It's an object. It's there. I don't know where Kazoo is going with that. That's a weird thing to say. Oh yeah, and that's that door in Gobi's Valley, and I said not to worry about it. It's just there for decoration. Uh, it can open, and it leads to the sinewy passageway. And uh, in the tombstone, you got the sweet button you can press by using your butt or the, the, the head of a bird. Uh, it's only another. Whoa! Kazooie got interrupted there. I wonder if that could have been an evolution thing. I don't know. Well, yeah. Find out in Banjo Kazooie the super weird key is uh, that's gonna involve the first game. And yeah, like you re you see that, you experience that. Like that is an amazing secret to hide behind full completion. Cause it's like, oh man, I I need to play this. I need more. When is this game gonna get released? I don't know. I can't wait for it though. Aw, oh, Klungo's trying his best. You're gonna. Aren't you a scientist? I'm assuming that because you're wearing a, a, a lab coat. And also, I know of your role in the sequel. But I feel like. You would. You act, I am aware of tools you have that would be able to help me with this. Maybe you just don't have them yet. Dump it up, but up, dump it up, but up, dump it up, but up, but Oh, which well, Gruntilda's witch face castle entrance looks amazing at night. Banjo Kazooie, what a fantastic game! I can't believe it's still so good. Why is there not a final tag up on top of the video? 